What's your name? Dane Bigby, Taos, New Mexico. And what are you going to be doing? I'm going to be uh, driving and spinning out on Babylon and uh, tearing stuff up. I'm here to tear stuff up for a good cause. All right. Thanks. Anyway, it's not censorship, Rick. I mean, I have no, no uh, problems with the content of these DVDs. And in reality, I'm not destroying them. I put them in boxes. I'll keep them off my shelves. If Fox decides to go ahead and uh, pull the OJ thing, those DVDs will go back uh, on the shelves and be made available to my customers. If not, I'll probably end up giving them to some youth organization. The Simpsons are huge with kids, but I'm not going to throw them away. Not Really, if you, if you look at my DVD selection, there's a lot of very transgressive stuff. Uh, you know, I draw the line at basically pedophilia and snuff films. Otherwise, I don't tell my customers what they can see. Right. I even have problems with the fact that I do sell high times here because, as you may know, I have a real problem with kids smoking dope in this town. On the other hand, should I deny an adult who wants a copy of High Times the opportunity to get it? This is not easy for me to pull art, well, entertainment you, off my shelves. You've been saying in, in, in different ways uh, in the last couple of days that uh, you stand to, to lose a lot of money, but under this revised plan, are you still going to be losing out a lot of money? I'll be other losing than, every, the, the rentals. rentals. Yeah. Okay. Figure, we'll find out in a minute when I pull them all out here, figure I'm losing the revenue on two or three hundred discs that... <laughs> There's a lot of interesting things that this is bringing out. My main point in this is just to send Fox a message, pure and simple, that I don't want to contribute. Well, I have to say, I've already bought the products from them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They've already got my money. Right. So the, the crux. But I the will not buy any more of their the products. The crux of the matter is right. the OJ thing. OJ. What you, what's your opinion on that? Whether, you know, I mean, whether he's guilty or not, the fact that he's still profiting off of something that is so tragic. And the fact that, uh, you know, Ron Goldman's dad, Fred, and the Simpson family are going to be dragged through this stuff again. And the kids, Simpson's kids, I don't know what he's saying to those two children. I mean, his daughter was recently busted for some altercation with a cop. She's clearly already so damaged from this. I mean, at what point is this guy's megalomania? You know, I mean, and the irony of it is that when he was acquitted, I thought he was innocent, and I thought it was a racist, I thought it was a black guy getting a bum rap. Mm -hmm. Now I really think he did it. And if he did it, then he's a shameless piece of shit, you know, I mean, really. So at what point do I be a part of that process? And maybe this is being part of that process. But let me get it out of my system, and at least I can, at least I can say to my customers when they come in and they hear how I feel, I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not selling them The Simpsons while con criticizing the Fox Network. Mm -hmm. and, and frankly, you know, whatever revenue I lose from the DVDs, I may pick up in the attention this is getting. On the other hand, there's only so much business you can do in towns. You know what I'm saying?